24 years old. He's a former Mexican Olympian. He's undefeated and ready for his first world championship fight. Ironically, Al, it's against a very close friend. It is indeed, you know, in the amateurs, he and Yanni Perez room together, even as rivals. Uh, and in fact, Mars won two of the three meetings between the two men. But it was Mars's dad, Ismael Mars, who co-managed and still co-manages Yanni Perez and helped him get established here in the country. I don't remember a time when there was a manager who was a, a co-manager of both fighters in the same fight. Uh, me either, Al, and as a fighter, you have to raise questions there. You know, who is this manager truly pulling for tonight? Anyway, with Morris, he's a young fighter that had to overcome serious eye injuries to get this opportunity tonight. He says in the fighter meeting that he can see better than 2020 in the damaged eye. Can this young fighter see his way to a title tonight? Mares enters the ring also with a new trainer, no longer under the tutelage of Nacho Berstein. This is his third fight with Joel Diaz. Yeah, Joel Diaz, who our fans know as one of the, as the trainer of uh, Timothy Bradley. Um, and Nacho Berstein did not like the moves that uh, Mares made when he went to Frank Espinosa as his manager. And Nacho bowed out and said, I just can't continue. And Joel Diaz, who of course is a very fine trainer, you see him there, stepped in. Gus Johnson, Al Bernstein, and the four-time world champion Antonio Magic Man Tarver with you from Staples Center in Los Angeles. The champion, 26-year-old Yanni Perez, has traveled a long and hard road all the way from Cartagena, Colombia, to get here. Yes, he's fighting his close friend. Yes, he's fighting his co-manager's son. But he told us there is no way that Mares will take his title. In fact, according to Perez, the only thing that will happen tonight it is, is that his co-manager's son is going to get hurt. Yeah, and in, in truth, uh, we should say that um, Ismael Mares is not exactly an active co-manager with, uh, uh, with Perez, but nevertheless, he is listed as that. And, you know, Perez comes into this fight with a lot of confidence. He had a phenomenal win in his last fight against Joseph Agbeko, and before that beat Silence Mabuza in South Africa, where Mabuza lived. So this is a 31-year-old who is very confident in what he's accomplished lately. And he has every reason to be out. He's proven that he is a champion, even though he's in a complicated situation right now. He's always felt that this fight, in, uh, him and uh, Morris was on a collision course, but he just didn't think of being his first championship uh, defense. Uh, you know, he's really focused tonight, and he's going to make somebody pay, the manager or his son. Or maybe both. <laughs> so the champion enters the ring. Yanni Perez. With the close relationship with Marez. They fought three times in the amateurs. But Perez feels that those fights really don't count. The professional ones do. And we are ready for the tale of the tape. Scheduled for 12 rounds for the IBF Bantamweight title. The age, of course, different. Perez got a late start uh, as a professional. Uh, we'll explain all that later. He also has a height and reach advantage. And his handler, is Danny Zamora, and his camp feel that he's got to use that height and reach and box from the outside. He didn't do it against Agbeko, but still won the fight. And the rules for the fight. Now, these are the unified rules that you're used to seeing. No standing eight count, no three knockdown rule. The referee or doctor can stop the fight. Can't be saved by the bell in any round. And if there was a clash of edge or some other foul that caused the fight to be ended before the end of, of the fourth round, it would be no decision. After that, they would go to the scorecards. So 31-year-old champion Yanni Perez prepares to take on his good friend, 24-year-old challenger, Abner Marez. Let's go inside the ring and Jimmy Lennon Jr.
Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to you and welcome to Staples Center here in Los Angeles, California, as we have a big night of action in store for you. And at this time, we present a world championship attraction brought to you by Gary Shaw Productions and Thompson Boxing Promotions in association with Golden Boy Promotions, Espinosa Promotions, Decate, Cerveza con Carácter, and Showtime. This bout is sanctioned by the International Boxing Federation, the President Marion Muhammad, Supervisor Larry Hazard, along with the California State Athletic Commission. Introducing to you our judges, scoring this bout from ringside. From California, Gwen Adair. Also from California, Hall of Famer Marty Denkin. And from New Jersey, Eugenia Williams. Introducing our third man of the ring, our referee in charge of this bout, Wayne Hedgepeth. All right, fans, here we go with a battle of the undefeated. 12 rounds of boxing for the IBF Bantamweight Championship of the World. <laughs> Introducing to you first, the challenger on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white trunks with green and red trim, hailing from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, Colonia Hermosa, Provincia. He weighed in at a trim and ready 116 and three quarter pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign at the ring with a record of 20 wins, no losses, 13 wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the 2004 Olympian and currently ranked the IBF number six world bantamweight contender, introducing Abner Mars. And his opponent across the ring, the defending world champion on my right, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trunks, trimmed to the colors of the Colombian flag. Fighting out of Santa Cruz Springs, California, by way of Cartagena, Colombia, he weighed in at 117 and one half pounds. His record, 20 wins, no losses, 14 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, making the first defense of his title, please welcome the undefeated IBF Bantamweight Champion of the World. Introducing El Colombiano, Yanni Perez. Once again, our referee in charge. Now to give instructions, Wayne Hedgebed. All right, you fighters, receive your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times, and above all, obey my commands at all times. Touch them up and go back to your corner. All right, we are ready for 12 rounds of boxing. Abner Mares, he says, I'm a good boxer with a decent punch, but I'm slick, I'm quick. On the other side, the champion Perez, he told us, Mares will not be able to keep up with me. I'm too well conditioned and I'm too hungry to maintain what I have. Here we go, the first round. One of the things to look for early is how aggressive will Mares be, and is his hand speed really better than Perez? He's convinced it is, so we'll look for signs of that. And one thing for sure, Antonio Perez will look to be aggressive in this fight. He yeah. normally comes forward. Yeah, he's definitely an aggressive boxer, puncher, counter puncher. I mean, he has all the tools, and uh, what, was, what stood out to me was that the crowd was behind him already, and that can be big in this fight. And as you mentioned, Al, Perez coming off that victory over Ekbeko, in which turned out to be a slugfest. He won a unanimous decision. Great exchanges here. They're trading left hooks. That's not the best thing for Ebner Mares to do, even though Mares has been very effective to the body. Perez has a tremendous left hook, but Ebner Mares' hand speed is making a difference so far in this.
his first round. Abner Mares telling us, yes, he knows Perez is strong and well-conditioned, but he's the same old Yanni from the amateurs. I beat him twice on three occasions then. I'm going to beat him tonight, and now he's really starting to push through with that straight right hand. Mares backing up now. First part of the first round, very aggressive moving forward. And you're going to see these two change from time to time, becoming Matador and Bull. Nice action there by Mares. Oh, yeah, neither fighter you're gonna have, is going to have to look for the other. They're going to be right there in close quarters, and they're going to let it go tonight. I think this fight is heating up, and uh, it, it could be something uh, very special before it's over. Both men have done very good body work with the left hooks here, especially Mares. 45 seconds remaining in the first round, scheduled for 12. The IBF Bantamweight Championship of the World. Two close friends, amateur roommates. 